Thank you for joining us on another Cash or Trash episode. I'd like to warn everybody that some of these videos may be a little upsetting to some of you because we may be talking a little bit of trash about some of these brands, especially if you work for the company, if you own any of these brands, or if you're just a fan of them, we may talk a little bit of trash and knock them down a peg or two. But there may be some good stuff as well, so check it out. Hey everyone, it's Alan over at Cobblers Plus and in today's Cash or Trash, we're doing something a little different. We're doing a belt review, basically. So we've got a Christian Dior belt here that's, uh, well, it's a high fashion luxury belt, obviously. It goes into that category. So belt, luxury belt, or luxury belt, we'll put it. So this belt is a reversible, so basically you can twist it around to have different types of, you know, appearances on it and everything like that. You can have on the back side there like that, or front side where it's nice and shiny. Now this belt we did just shorten and everything, so we get to see what's going on internally on this as well, which is definitely a cool thing to be able to do. So I did a bit of a video, I'm not sure if it worked out on shortening this belt and everything, but in the video I'd mentioned uh, we don't know what kind of mystery fillers there are, but because I had a chunk now, we can open up and take a look what's going on with this belt. So we'll start out with material quality. Now, a lot of these luxury brand belts, they do concentrate, it seems like, a little bit more on their hardware. So all the buckles, the, you know, the snaps, all that kind of stuff tends to be a little bit on the better side for material. The belts themselves, the leather, whether it's a synthetic or a real leather or whatever the heck it might be, those are always a bit of a mystery and majority of the time they're not very good quality materials. Now for material for this Dior belt, we're going to break it down because thankfully we're able to take a look at uh, what's going on because even when we slice it, we have this basically, which is just mystery layers, we call it, because there have been times where I opened up a belt and I actually found little bits and pieces of newspaper inside of it on a belt that's about 600 bucks, might I add also. So this belt by Dior, they actually used leather. They have three pieces. They have the two outer pieces that are stitched together and an inner piece that's also actually a leather. Now, as far as the grade and quality of the leather, it's not the best, honestly. I, I've taken a close look. I tried finding, you know, poor structure in the leather and everything. I'm not seeing it too much. So from the look of it, it's a heavily corrected grain on the smooth side, which is all shiny. The opposite side that's not so smooth is, um, is still a form of corrected where they basically just took rollers over a big sheet of leather to imprint something. And when we say corrected grain, meaning the top grain where you see all the pour, which is the very top layer of the leather, that's usually the best. You're going to have the pores. You may have minor flaws because of, you know, na natural things that may occur mosquito or other bug bites um, natural damage from the animal when it was still alive having issues or damage to its body so that kind of stuff you will see with top grain leather however durability wise structurally and appearance wise it's going to hold up a lot longer and it's going to be a lot easier to maintain these heavily corrected grain leathers though however if you store them especially rolled up when you roll up the belt they sometimes come packaged like that Take them out of the box immediately, hang it up, hang up the belt so that it can hang and not be forced to be twisted up because these corrected grain leathers, obviously, it's it's just a thick paint that they put on. It's Whether it's a leather paint, a sprayed on paint, whatever it might be, it's a form of paint at, a, at the end of the day. It eventually starts to crease, crack, and crumble, in other words. So definitely keep a close eye on that. You're going to have that happen no matter how much you're paying for that belt. If it's corrected grain, and especially if it's man-made material, that's going to happen. Any belts, we always recommend never store them rolled up, always hang them up. Now, so material quality, because they actually used a leather filler, just because it's corrected grain doesn't mean it's terrible, but compared to some of the things I've seen out there, the other things I've seen are just unspeakable of what they do with some belts. Um, they also use a um, edge uh, type of uh, finish on here that's a kind of like an acrylic type and it's not the best eventually it's going to start to peel up and not look great either unfortunately it's very common to see sorry i got a little interrupted there but 
Um, so this edge ink here, basically, it does look like they may have a little bit of wax mixed in there too. So it might not be the worst, but it is still an edging that they're doing on a belt, which has a lot of bending and flexing that tends to go on with the belt. So material quality, honestly, on a scale of one to 10, I'm going to have to give them probably, well, we're going to have to put this in that luxury brand category. So I am going to give them a seven. Again, a lot of luxury branded items. You're literally just paying for the luxury. You're not really paying for anything else. It's the luxury brand name or the fact that it's just really high priced. So we'll give them a seven just because I've seen much worse in the same price tiers, same price category for that uh, build quality. They do very well as far as all the small details. So like the edging and stuff, it looks great on display. However, durability wise that's where the material quality comes into play long term don't expect it to hold on for years and years so material quality uh, well or build quality i'm gonna uh, it's gonna be hard to tell for sure but i'm probably gonna give them again in the luxury category i'll give them about an eight on these guys um Comfort well, that's for shoes. I don't know how comfortable that's gonna be because it's a it's got a thick finish on it and stuff There may be some break in um, So we're not even gonna do that support is not for belts collectability. It is a branded item So we'll have to at least give them like a you know, it's a Dior belt Probably a six. It doesn't have a big flashy belt buckle or anything like that. Show off ability, a six as well, just because it's got a very plain basic belt. If it had a big belt buckle, you'd probably notice it. Maintenance, um, your basic conditioners, all I recommend, nothing more. Uh, waterproofers don't help much because the it kind of rubs off onto your clothes very quickly after the first or second time wearing it. So we'll probably give it about a seven on maintenance just because it's just condition. That's it. Anything more than that is gonna be an issue. Recraftability, so we're gonna say recraftability for belts is repairs, shortening it, um, minor stitching, even the edging we can definitely do too. Um, this one especially is a stitched down belt all around, so it is stitched around the edges too. So there's a lot more that we can do with this particular design of belt just because it's stitched around the edges. It's gonna hold up better for that purpose and it's fairly easy. So I'm actually gonna give them about a nine for any kind of recraft service. I can't give it a full 10 though because if the color starts to fade, it starts to crack or anything like that, there's nothing that we can do. The edging we can take care of, the stitching we can take care of, but if the hardware itself breaks or the finish on this, there's not much we can do at all, honestly. And uh, obviously price is luxury. So uh, for the price point and because it's in the luxury tier, honestly, compared to the other belts, I'm going to give these a full blown cash. We can't give these a trash compared to some other belts I've come across out there. Um, th this, this is still a way better belt the way better built and designed belt i mean that stitching there on the edges is great they've got that at least down they're using leather inside and outside it might not be obviously the best of best out there uh their little belt loops are leather as well the belt buckle is always phenomenal with dior i've never come across any issues with dior belts only thing is it does leave the fingerprint so i gotta make sure to wipe this down before i take pictures so a cash on this one and uh yeah, if you're wanting to spend the money on it and you, you've you got that kind of money to spend, it's definitely a belt worth looking into over some of the other brands I've come across. So definitely make sure you're subscribed, hit that notification bell icon so that you can get notified when we have our next video released, especially for the cash or trash if you want to see comparison to some of the other belts as well. This is the first one that we're going to do for belts and we'll do more as time goes by. So eventually, maybe down the road, you'll see a huge variety of belts being compared in different price tier categories as well. So thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.